Are you looking to purchase a wheel loader at our upcoming Ritchie Brothers auction? These five tips will help you determine the value of the machine and also help you to avoid any unwanted repairs or replacements. Number one, wheel loader bucket, bucket teeth, bucket cutting edge, and lift arms. Beginning at the front of the bucket, check for any missing or loose teeth. Continue on from the bucket teeth and look at the bucket leading edge and side panels, making note of any cracks, excessive wear, or repairs such as welds. If the bucket is attached to the wheel loader lift arms via a quick connect coupling system, check the coupling system for any loose pins or worn bushings. From the coupling system, move on to the lift arms and check for any cracks, dents, or other evidence of structural damage. Don't forget to also check the condition of the lift arm cylinders. Number two, hydraulic system. Take your time inspecting the hydraulic system. It's the most vital component of your wheel loader. Make sure to check all hoses and cylinders for any damage. Ensure all hose couplings are in good condition and free of any breaks or scratches. Check all cylinders for any leaks, dents, or scratches that could allow fluids to leak out or contaminants to make their way in. Number three, cab and general operation. As you make your way into the cab, check for any loose grab irons or unsecured ladder. Evaluate the overall condition of the seat, joystick, and foot pedals, and make note of any hour meter readings. Start up the machine and check that all gauges are operational, including the backup alarm. If you hear any squeaky sounds when operating the bucket or other attachments, it could mean that the machine has not been lubricated and that the metal components are now rubbing together. Number four, central articulation point. Located underneath the cab at the midpoint of the wheel loader sits the central articulation point. Look for signs of wear in the articulation point. If the wheel loader was operated in rough, uneven, rocky conditions rather than on smooth ground, the articulation point should tell the story. If excessive wear is present, you may experience play or a noticeable up and down movement in the top and bottom pin during operation. Number five, frame or ROPS. If a wheel loader does not come with an enclosed canopy, make sure to inspect the ROPS main support for any bends or other damage that could affect its ability to protect an operator in the event of a rollover or other type of accident. Once you've completed your visual and functional inspection, ask to view the wheel loader's service records or work orders. Unless you are very experienced and know what to look for when inspecting a wheel loader, have a qualified mechanic or knowledgeable operator carry out the inspection. If you are interested in buying wheel loaders being sold in an upcoming Ritchie Brothers on-site auction, visit the auction site to test, inspect, and compare different models before you bid, or see what's available for sale on Iron Planet and Marketplace E, including a large selection with Ironclad Assurance Equipment Condition Certifications.